it is going to be brilliant. <laughs> yes. Oh man, I wish I had sunglasses. It's going to be so bright. I'm going to be squinting. Squinting all day. Currently experiencing the gentle uh, routine of putting on frozen socks and frozen shoes. This sock though is only like 25% frozen. Only right here and then right here. So yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> and the sun's out. So it's going to be hot today. We're all good. I had to get leverage against the wood, like with my arms, to get enough power to punch through the shoe. <laughs> but I did it. Check it out. Oh man. Today I get to go up and over Klingman's Dome too. So if this holds, oh. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> Get back into the cavern, pack up my stuff, eat a bar, let's go. I have to poop though, but I have the day water because I slept with it, so life's good. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a little tutorial moment. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my Kulo Clean. <laughs> it's a little bidet I use, and it makes all the difference. I like after I squirt myself after I go to the bathroom, I only have to go like use toilet paper like once or twice, that's it. And since I'm vegetarian and since I'm walking so much, my bowel movements are pretty viscous in general out here. So it really does work like know, just solves the problem. So I only have, I don't know, a fifth of a liter left. If I could like maximize the power from having a full liter or a liter and a half water bottle, I could really send bidet water flying, but we're gonna have to settle for just a little bit. But check it out. You, you flip it over and it's got this little slit and then you squeeze. Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, when I was going to the bathroom in the Privy because I'm in the National Park and they really want you to go into the Privy, uh, I experienced a couple things I've never experienced before. First, I got really anxious about like, what if water freezes in my bidet and then tomorrow morning I can't use it? Or I like, what if I'm like squeezing really hard and then all of a sudden it's like, pop, <laughs> and the ice breaks free. And then um, the second thing was there's like a real updraft. I can certainly feel the wind moving towards the camera right now. And so um, I like spray myself and then wipe and there's some debris. So I drop it in and then the tissue paper is wet. So it just falls and then I spray myself again and there's pretty much nothing. And then it falls again because it's wet. And then there's just like one last wipe I go for just to make sure. And this tissue paper comes up clean. And then I try to drop it down the hole. This is like me squatty pottying over the, cause I don't want to sit down on the communal toilet seat. <laughs> and then the tissue paper just like starts hovering because the updraft is going up the mountain through the like wire mesh into which all the feces falls in the privy. And then it's shooting straight up the toilet seat. So not only am I like bidetting with an updraft, <laughs> I'm trying to drop toilet paper down an updraft. It was crazy <laughs> just to be like, ah! <laughs> like go, go. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> bidets are awesome. Life on trail. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? It's 8.07 and we're moving. Uh, I think I have 19 miles to go today. I think, <laughs> maybe it's 20. Yesterday I went 18. <clears throat> so yeah, it'll be a long day. <laughs> it was a long day yesterday too. But uh, there are some footprints leading north from the shelter that I saw last night and can see right now. So hopefully they make it a little easier. And um, yeah, it'll be really fun. Hopefully it's warm. Uh, maybe some clouds are starting to form, so I'm not sure the sun's gonna stick around all day. But that's okay. Yeah. Still super nice. Okay, here we go. So I'm following these tracks, which is really nice and 
the best part is there's a doggy prince right there. <laughs> naughty naughty. <laughs> I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Where I'm going, claim it's oh gosh, <laughs> the zoom, it's so windy. <laughs> ah, there's a thing up there. Yeah, there's the tower. <laughs> oh man, wow, <laughs> it's crazy up here. Last night <clears throat> or yesterday. These all would have been like two feet lower, for sure. <laughs> but now it's like the coziest little tunnel. <laughs> Ooh, this way, not that way. Oh man, it's cool. Wow. If only I had skis. <laughs> I love glade runs. This would be like really tight and aggressive, I think, but <laughs> crashing into the trees would be quite forgiving, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Walking in the snow is definitely hard work. <laughs> These are little bugs. <laughs> like, in the sunshine, it's probably 55 degrees. <laughs> shade maybe like 40 in wind chill i have no idea where they came from or what they're doing you guys are all gonna die tonight <laughs> yeah they're everywhere cool i'm really thirsty i didn't take enough water this morning i've gone like 13 miles and i've only drunk half a liter today which is not smart but it's it's okay i can cook snow if i have to and there's a shelter just up ahead. I was gonna drink at the last shelter, but the comments were like, people shit everywhere here. Like, like there were some angry through hiker comments. <laughs> so I didn't drink there. Uh, yeah, so this is the last shelter before Clingman still. And then I go up and the sun is like, oh man, so good. And I'm probably super sunburned and there's gonna be views. So I'm stoked. <laughs> so. I got to the shelter to eat and walked in the tarp, opened up the tarp, scared a guy who's in here, close to my age, maybe a little younger. And he's like, oh, hey man. He's like, hey dude, sorry. Like, he's like, what's your name? It's like, oh, hey Stagger, Andrew. First thing he says to me is, are you on Tinder? <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> he's like, oh, sorry. Yeah, I mean, I just thought like, Oh, well, I mean, I'm straight, but I just swipe right on everything. <laughs> and I was like, you're cool, man. <laughs> and then he showed me where the water was. And then I started eating. And then he was like talking about how the weather upset him and he was going to go further. And then he was like asking me how far I was going to go. And I was like, I don't know, man, could go anywhere. And then he started token up. <laughs> I was like, this guy, this is like the worst hiker etiquette I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> anyway, you never know what you're gonna get. Just trying to eat lunch, man. <laughs> I can remember when I was here, kind of on the penultimate climb to Klingman's Dome five years ago. I thought how much like Maine, uh, just like, I don't know, just like the Maine woods, like not, not even elevation, but how much like Maine, this sort of a vibe felt, the way it smelled, uh, the closeness of the trees, the fact that most of it was conifer, and um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm feeling it again. I feel like I'm home. Like this high altitude weather sort of just feels like if I was in Maine outside my parents' house and uh, it was a blustery, sunshiny day. I don't know. <laughs> it's nice to be home. <laughs> it's beautiful.
I love when the layers mount, uh, the mountains layer. Yeah, it's super pretty. <sighs> Being up high is the best. Oh man, so much character. Yeah, 6,000 on the East Coast is pretty cool. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I love it. I'm walking up to Klingman's Dome and I just met Five Stack and Storm Dasher down at the bottom of this like wheelchair access ramp. And uh, yeah, I got a view. So exciting, but there are clouds coming in. They're like way up high, but yeah, I think tomorrow will be gray again. <laughs> There's five stack. <laughs> So cool. Down, um, down there, I think it's the road, from Newfound Gap. And I need to get into town from there. <laughs> or else I'm gonna be walking down the road on the other side of the ridge, down to the city down there. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Sure is beautiful. Look, mom, I made friends. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, some real CDT vibes. Cattle guard. Yeah, there is a pig fence. You've got to preserve that high alpine climb. <laughs> So Storm Dasher, Five Stack and I are about to land in Newfound Gap. It's about 6.15 and uh, yeah, Five Stack definitely needs to go into town. He's feeling pretty weary. It's hard work up here for sure. And um, I might go in with him because I need food, uh, but maybe he'll give me the rest of the food in his pack. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Storm Dasher, I think would really like to go three miles further, but there's a thousand foot climb and uh, he's definitely tempted by the town vortex. So we'll see what comes of it. There's traffic moving at Newfound Gap. I don't know how much, especially since it's kind of sleeting and uh, it's late now. So people are probably heading off the mountain, but uh, we'll see what we can find when we get down there. Hitching is always such a joy. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a time. <laughs> It's beautiful in here. I really like how uh, silvery I feel the aesthetic gets late at night in the snow. Like the moon comes out. Uh, it won't tonight probably, but the moon comes out and just lights it all up. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, bye. Well, we're going for it. <laughs> Three more miles. Icewater Canyon. I have some good stories from that shelter. I'll share them in the morning, I guess. But uh, yeah, 1,000 feet. Storm Dash is ahead and Five Stack gave me some food. So we're gonna push on. Here we go. Blinding myself for the, for the video. <laughs> uh, I made it to Icewater Shelter. It was 27 miles, which is too much. But uh, yeah, sometimes that's just how the day works out. It's a pretty fun three mile walk up here in the snow and uh, hopefully Storm Dasher gets here soon. And tomorrow will bring us mostly out of the Smokies and then, yeah, it's good. Now I get to eat my first meat of the trail. I was given beef stew <laughs> by a uh, five stack. <laughs> beef stew mountain house. My ethics are cringing. Okay.
<laughs> it'll be yummy. Good night.